Welcome back, everybody. The Steve Tuete Local Municipality in Middleburg and Pumalanga Province is in one of those few municipalities in the country with a track record of being exemplary, with a 100% payment rate since 2005. As a result of this achievement, the municipality has become a model for effective and high-quality municipal service delivery for the rest of South Africa. It has been awarded clean audit status for five consecutive years. This never, never happens. To talk about these achievements, we are joined in studio by the executive mayor, Mike Massina. Good to have you. Thank you. My pleasure. Listen to this. Okay, viewers, <laughs> listen to the voice of, of, the, of the mayor. I, mean, I, was, I, was, I was saying you have this Barry White vibe, this James Earl Jones vibe. We ought to pay you to come into voiceovers here at the SABC. I would really appreciate that. You think so? I should have taken over from Treja Shabalala. <laughs> <laughs> I think so. I definitely think so. But yes. I don't think you've got time to do any voiceovers for us when, when you're doing so well. I mean... What is it? What, what, is, what is the secret to, to the success of the municipality? I think uh, first and foremost uh, is the good relationship we have with our constituencies, our communities, because the 100% the payment rate you have just spoken about is attributed to the interaction that we have. Uh, you know, the public participation after each and every ordinary council sitting, councillors are expected to have report back meetings. So issues that are raised uh, are attended to immediately. So that is why our residents are motivated, you know, to pay 100%. Yeah. And uh, that is why we're in the position to uh, give them uh, sustainable basic services, water, electricity, road maintenance, uh, refuse removal, cleanliness, you name them. It's, it's, it's incredible because, I mean, in most... In most municipalities, and, and, and I think I can generalize, I mean, you never find that. You really don't find that. You'll find a lot of, a lot of the residents saying, I can't afford, I'm not going to pay, uh, the government owes me, I, you know, this is, this is what I do, I don't work, I'm, you know, they, 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 they must look after me, I can't look after them. And, and, you'll ne and you find that a lot of the residents don't pay, they don't come to the party, and they don't, they don't work as a team. H how do you incentivize, though? I mean, what, what is it that you, you sort of do for the residents, obviously offering them the services, but mm. to ensure that that payment is there, 100% payment for all services. There is uh, what we call interaction, you know, with the defaulters, uh, because sometimes we find that uh, residents uh, are not always in a good position uh, to come forward and pay. That is why what councillors uh, must interact and uh, engage with them and try to understand what their problems are and uh, give them the opportunity, you know, to come forward. I think uh, the relationship, as I indicated, uh, plays a major role uh, because if um, you do not communicate uh, effectively obviously people will have perceptions you know yeah. about you uh, that is why apart from direct interaction with them we also communicate uh, through SMSs. Uh, we have a slot on the um, local radio stations. Uh, but yes, I must uh, really admit that uh, we are not immune from triple challenges of poverty, unemployment, and inequality. Uh, but uh, the level of interaction, I think, brings about that uh, better understanding. Break it down for us, because that, that was my follow-up question. When we mm. look at the population yes. in the municipality, yes. what the population is and what the unemployment rate is. I mean, what, 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 are the, what is the balance there? The unemployment rate um, is at 19.7%. Uh, okay. Yes, and uh, that is where those who are not fortunate to be employed, you know, are catered for through the indigent support. Uh, but of course... We cannot keep on sustaining that, which is why actually my primary aim actually for being here is to encourage investment, you know, because uh, we want uh, investors to come and take advantage of the stability that we have in the municipality. Talk to us precisely about Precisely because of the reliability in terms of basic services that we provide. What, what are the opportunities in the municipality? I mean, primary, what is, what is the, the, the kind of um, things that drive the economy and create job, jobs in, in, in your Steve Twente local municipality? Uh, we are the coal mining area. Um, uh, so we believe that investors can come and really have a look uh, because uh, 
we are um, uh, generating energy. They come and look at that. And uh, we also have some incentives, you know, like uh, the so-called tax holidays. You know, when you come and invest, we look at the kind of investment that we are bringing. If it is the kind of investment that is going to assist us to generate uh, employment opportunities, we might uh, grant you the so-called tax holiday. Uh, we're in for the period of two years, you know, the property rate tax, you know, might not be at the level uh, where it should. We might negotiate that one. But yes, uh, we also have uh, agricultural opportunities that can be taken advantage of. We have uh, quite a number of uh, rural areas surrounding us. Um, metallurgic uh, industries um, and also we also offer a serviced industrial land, mm -hmm. uh, industrial and commercial land. So there are quite a number of opportunities that yeah. we believe investors can come and take advantage of because that's the only challenge that we have, honestly speaking. If we can uh, defeat unemployment, uh, I think we will be a real model municipality, 100%. Yeah, and it is, it, it, it is a major challenge because, I mean, you've... You, you're running smoothly and yet these things can collapse if it isn't for the investment and the mining sector at the moment is not the strongest sector to be in right now and that's obviously the biggest uh, where you biggest uh, you depend most mostly on is the mining Absolutely. Um, but I see that there's uh, obviously there's this this big competition for land between your miners and the agri agricultural sector would you say it's mostly towards mining though Indeed, and uh, as you have uh, correctly pointed out, uh, that uh, mining uh, is facing major challenges. Yeah. I think we must actually migrate towards agriculture, you know, with a period of time. Uh, because, um, unfortunately, we've had some closures. Uh, I think it's optimum where 1,070, you know, people were laid off. Uh, but yes, we appreciate the fact that there is some intervention uh, that mine uh, is likely actually uh, to be revitalized. Uh, there are steps, uh, you know, that are being taken now. But of course, the future is in agriculture. Indeed. And that is where we want to encourage, especially young people. Actually, let me indicate that uh, we have just held a very successful uh, revitalization of the township economy. It was a summit wherein we are trying to bring emerging business into the mainstream economy. And among other things, of course, the program speaks to taking opportunities in agriculture and other sectors of the economy. It cannot be solely on mining. Indeed. Yes. I mean, I know that maize, it's, it's a massive industry there um, in your municipality. The yes. big problem is, of course, the drought, though. How mm. is the situation looking now? Because I know that it, it did have a, a very dire effect in your area. Absolutely, absolutely. Uh, that is why uh, we are actually pioneering, you know, the Water Conservation Summit, uh, because we believe that uh, this is one situation that is beyond our control. So the more we preserve what we have, the better, uh, because you can do so little, you know, about um, the, the drought situation. But if we can conserve and preserve water, I think uh, we will be in the position, uh, you know, to make headways. Uh, but yes, uh, we want to ensure that um, we give much needed support in that regard. I mean, let's, okay, that's, that's, that's kind of what you have to offer in inviting investors to go in. But let's talk about, we, we talk about the 100% the payment rate. But the other thing is the, is the clean audit. Um, a clean audit state, status for five years, consecutive years. Now, this is not, you know, this is, this is no, um, this, is, this is not a small thing. This is a very big thing because yes. corruption um, at municipal, municipal levels is a very major challenge. How, how is it that you're, you're, you're able to, to work through this and, and try and, I suppose, get the, 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 the different councillors and the different um, individuals that are working within the municipality to do their jobs properly? Uh, I think our strongest point, I must say, is the political stability. You see, once you have a political stability, you have it all. It all starts there. 
the centre must hold. This is what we always say in the ruling party. If we have the executive mayor, we have the accounting officer, these are the two people at the major centre. And you know that roles and responsibilities are clearly defined. Uh, so it makes it easy. You are not going to have orders issued from anywhere. Uh, you know that uh, the municipal manager reports to the executive mayor and when the municipal manager issues uh, directives and instructions, there will be no tempering or any other interference. I think that has helped us a great deal. But of course, most importantly, we always make it a point that uh, we employ people with capacity. People who are in particular positions are people with capacity. They are able to implement decisions that we take. Uh, and of course, yes, as I indicated, that um, you know the interaction, the relationship with our constituencies, our communities, uh, has helped us uh, to be where we are and to be what we are. Well, listen, we wish you the best of luck. I mean, continue to, to do the work you do. And like you say, I mean, it's not that you don't have your issues. I mean, there are protests that are happening there. We saw one happening at the beginning of the year. Um, but the reality is that it seems to be that, that, that what you're doing is working. All these audits coming through and uh, it's, 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 a, it's, a, it's a municipality that one can look at and, and respect and admire the work you're doing. So thank you very much, Executive Mayor. Um, Mike Messina, who of course is from the Steve Tuete local municipality in Middleburg and Pumalanga. Thank you. Thank you so much. And maybe lastly, let me indicate that we are the holders of ZK Matthews Award as the best ANC-run municipality in the entire country. Fantastic. And there goes your phone, <laughs> Executive Mayor. Everybody who's been watching is phoning you now. But hopefully it's for investing. Not to tell you, you sounded so good on the TV, Executive Mayor. All right, thank you so much. Thanks for being with us here on the program. All right, let's take a quick break.